this session, we will try to solve the sum and product of the roots of quadratic equation in the standard form. Basically po, gagamitin natin ang mga coefficients ng A, B, and C, which is the coefficient of the quadratic term, the coefficient of the linear term, which is B, and our constant, which is C. Now, from the derivation ng ating sum and product of the roots, we can conclude that the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation is the additive inverse of the quotient of B and A. That is, the sum is equal to negative B all over A. Kasi po, di ba, additive inverse. So, yung negative magsasabi po na additive inverse po ang ating quotient, which is B all over A. Uulitin ko po, the sum of the roots is equivalent to negative B all over A. Second, the product of the roots of a quadratic equation is the quotient of C and A. So that is, product is equal to C all over A. Uulitin ko po. Yung product natin is equal to C all over A. So basically po, itong value ng A, B, at saka C natin are actually the coefficients of our quadratic equation. Now, para lalo po nating maintindihan po ang sum and product of the roots, let's have an example. So, in example number one po, hinahanapan po tayo ng sum and product of the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 is equal to 0. So, ang gagawin po natin, syempre, kukopyahin muna natin ang given na quadratic equation. But before that, ah, ang, gani, ang mangyayari po ay ganito. May dalawa akong solution na ipapakita sa inyo at kayo na po ang bahala kung saan ang palagay nyo po ay mas madali pong maintindihan. So, ang una ko pong solution ay ang gagamitin natin ay mano-mano. Kung baga, hanapin muna natin yung dalawang roots ng quadratic equation upang masolve po natin ang sum and product of the roots. Okay. So, ganito po yan. So, kinopya ko po yung given na quadratic equation. After this, apply po natin yung factoring kasi kaya po natin i-factor ito. So, by factoring po, the factors are 2x plus 3, x minus 5 is equal to 0. After this, we will equate the two factors, itong 2x plus 3 at saka x minus 5, to 0. So that is 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 at yung isa naman po ay x minus 5 is equal to 0. So ang gagawin natin, if we're going to uh, manipulate this one, so yung x po natin is negative 3 all over 2 at saka yung kabila naman po x is equal to 5. Now nasolve na po natin yung dalawang roots gamit po ang factoring. So, since may roots na po tayo, ang gagawin lang natin para hanapin yung sum, ay i-add natin. At saka yung product naman po, ay multiply lang natin ang dalawang roots. So, yung sum po, we are going to add this, the, the two roots. Ang mangyayari, ang sagot ay 7 over 2. Ang product naman po, if you multiply them, the product is negative 15 all over 2. So, nasolve na po natin yung sum and product, pero ang ginawa po natin dito, ito po yung tinatawag na mano-mano. Now, kanina po ay made mention na ang sum is negative B all over A, yung product naman ay C all over A. So, basically po, ang gagamitin lang natin ay ang coefficients lang po ng A, B, and C. So, dito po, Pangalawang solution na po ito. Ano? So, ang uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung pangalawang solution at kayo na po ang mag-decide kung saan ba 
ang gusto nyo at uh, sa tingin nyo ay madali lang para sa inyo. Ang solution number one ba o kaya ang solution number two na ipapakita ko pa lamang? Gagamitin natin yung formula ng sum and product. So, ang gagawin nyo lang po ay identify nyo lang po yung value ng A, B, at saka C, which are the coefficients po ng ating given quadratic equation. So, ang sum po para masolve po natin sa pagkakaalam natin that is negative B all over A. So, ang gagawin nyo lang ay papalitan lang po natin yung B ng negative 7. Yung A naman po ay 2. So, we have negative times negative 7. Bakit may negative sa labas po? Kasi po sa formula ng sum natin, may negative na pong kasama. So, wag na wag nyo pong kakalimutan na isali po si negative. Yung B naman natin ay negative 7. Yung A naman po natin ay 2. So, solving this, negative times negative po is positive 7 all over 2. So, kung titingnan po natin, pareho po tayo ng sagot. Ang ginawa lang natin sa second solution ay we skip na already the step on finding the roots. Kasi diretso na, sinold na po natin yung sum natin. So, yung product naman po, Product is equal to C all over A. Is equal to, papalitan lang natin si C ng negative 15. Si A naman po ay 2. So, kung titingnan po natin, very consistent po yung sagot natin. Pareho lang po. What we did is we skip already the factoring steps. So, I guess po sa pagkakaalam natin o sa na-observe po natin, mas madali po ang solution number 2. Kaya in this session po, ang gagamitin po natin ay ang solution number 2. Example number 2. Find the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation 2p squared plus 12p is equal to 8. So, solution natin, syempre. Now, uh, atin pong tatandaan guys ha, hindi po natin pwede gamitin ang sum and product of the roots Kung hindi po ito in the standard form. So, dapat yung quadratic equation natin nasa standard form po. So, madali lang actually. Ang gagawin natin sa given na ito is we transpose lang po yung 8 sa other side ng equation. So, we have 2p squared plus 12p minus 8 is equal to 0. So, nasa standard form na po. So, kung nasa standard form na, madali na lang po natin makuha yung values ng A, B, at C. So, given this value, so pwede na po natin isolve yung sum natin. Palitan lang natin yung B at saka A ng value ng 12 at saka 2. So, we have negative 12 all over 2 at saka that is equal to negative 6. Yung product naman po ay C over A. Palitan lang natin ang C ng negative 8. At saka yung A naman po ay 2. So, we have negative 8 all over 2. Negative 8 all over 2 po is equal to negative 4. Sa makatwid po, ang ating sum of the roots ay negative 6. Ang product of the roots naman ay negative 4. So, kung may katanungan po kayo, malaya po kayo isulat ang inyong katanungan sa comment section Malugod ko po itong sasagutin. Third example. Sinanapan ulit tayo ng sum and product of the roots of the given quadratic equation. 5p squared minus 6 open and close parenthesis p minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ganun pa rin yung solution natin. Kopyahin muna natin. And since hindi ito nasa standard form, so, ang gagawin natin, may multiply lang natin or we distribute lang po yung negative 6 to each term na nasa loob ng parenthesis po. So, doing so, we have 5p squared minus 6p plus 6 is equal to 0. Identify na po natin yung value ng a, b, and c kasi nasa standard form na po ang ating quadratic equation. So, finding the sum, of course, that will give us 6 all over 5. Yung product naman po ay the same pa rin. 
6 over 5. So our roots or the sum and the product of the roots is 6 over 5 at saka 6 over 5. Now kung nagustuhan nyo naman po ang ating presentasyon ng ating tutorial ngayon, paki-like naman po at paki-share na din upang mapanood po itong tutorial na ito ng ibang manunood po. At sana po hindi nyo po kalimutan ang pag-subscribe po sa aking channel at pakisali na lang po ng notification bell upang ma-update po kayo sa mga susunod ko pang mga tutorial. Maraming maraming salamat po. Yeah.